In the previous video, we saw how to assign values to the API request parameters. In this video, we will see how we can handle the server responses. We have already added a success response for when the user registers successfully, so let's do something with that. As we can see, when the register user request succeeds, the server returns us an ID token. We are not going to use this token for now, but we are going to call a function. Let's select the token and then select the function option to create a function. We can name it, go to list latest post screen. In this view, we are able to create custom functions. In our example though, we will use just one block to perform a screen navigation. We can press back to save, and then, select the newly created function. Finally, we press save. Codica will ask us if we want to call this data source automatically every time the register screen loads. We don't want that for now, because we want to call it only when the register now button is clicked.